Hi, you are in my Punta Crochet and in this tutorial I will teach you how to knit a beautiful sunflower bandana. To make it, we will knit semi-thin cotton sand in the following colors and quantities. 25 grams of brown, 45 grams of maize and 80 grams of white. These amounts are estimated. We will also need a size 1 and size 2 crochet hook. The one I have is double but they can be individual. And finally a pair of scissors. Now let's start crocheting. We are going to begin by working with the size 2 crochet hook. Making a magic ring. Then, chain 4, which will simulate the first double crochet stitch, and crochet 11 more double crochet stitches. Once we have finished, we join with one slip stitch and pull the thread through to the back to adjust and cut the charm. Now we are going to crochet the sunflower petals. To do this, we will add the maize colored charm. Crochet chain 4, then we make an open double crochet in the same stitch and move on to the next stitch where we make one open double crochet and then close the double crochet together with the chain. Now we chain 4, make an open double crochet in the same stitch and move on to the next stitch where we make two open double crochets and then close the two double crochets together with the chain. We chain four. Then in the next stitch we make two open double crochets and move on to the next stitch where we make one open double crochet. Then close the three double crochets together. We repeat this sequence until the end of the round with two incomplete double crochet stitches for each stitch, alternating between one stitch with the four intermediate chain stitches and one stitch with only two incomplete double crochet stitches.
Once we have finished, our sunflower should have a total of 8 petals. For our bandana, we need to crochet 15 complete sunflowers. It's time to make the sunflower centers. We take the brown charm and make a magic ring. We continue working with the crochet hook side too. Inside the magic ring, we chain four and crochet 5 double crochet stitches. We adjust the magic ring and close with a slip stitch. We cut the charm, leaving a bit of a Next, we add the maize color to make the petals. We chain 8 and in the same stitch we make 2 incomplete double crochet stitches. In the next stitch, we crochet one incomplete double crochet stitch and close the three double crochet stitches together. We chain four and in the same stitch, we make one incomplete double crochet stitch. We continue crocheting in the next stitch where we make two incomplete double crochet stitches and close the three double crochet stitches together. We repeat this sequence from the first stitch around the center. In the last stitch, we chain 8 and join the last chain 
to the center of the sunflower center. We continue crocheting five single crochet stitches. Join again with a slip stitch. Adjust, pull the yarn to the back, make a slip knot and cut the yarn. The sunflower center should have four petals. You need to crochet a total of six sunflower centers. Let's continue to the next section. Now we are going to start forming the first grind. To do this, we take one of the complete sunflowers and add the white thread. We will continue working with the size 2 crochet hook. Perfect! We're going to work within the spaces that were formed with the chains. We start by making 4 chains and within the same space we crochet 2 double crochets that will close individually. In the next space we will make 6 single crochets. And in this way we will be shaping the grind. Once we have the six single crochets, we count, review and control and move on the next space where we will make three double crochets that close individually. Then we crochet four chains and Within the same space, we have another three double crochets to form one of the corners of the granny. In the next space, we again make six single crochets. And in the following space, we form another corner of the granny. That is, we crochet three more double crochets, four chains and three double crochets in the same space. In the next space, we again 
सिक्स सिंगल क्रोचे दिस्ते and in the following space we form another corner of the graph that is we crochet three more double crochets four chains and three double crochets in the same space In the last space to be completed, we make six single crochets again. And to finish, in the first space we crochet three double crochets plus four chains. I join with one slip stitch the last chain woven with the last chain of the initial chain that we made at the beginning. We pass the thread to the back at just and cut. Congratulations! Now we have our first sunflower granny. It's time to keep knitting and joining the grannies with each other. For this, observe very well the We are going to crochet three sides of the second granny and start the union with the first granny in corner number three. To join them, we will take the first granny by one corner and make one slip stitch, one single crochet, two chains and complete the corner with the three double crochets. We join again with the first granny by making one slip stitch. Continue crocheting three single crochets. Join again with one slip stitch and complete the six single crochets with the remaining three. Join again and make the final corner of the second grand. Crocheting three double crochets, joining with one slip stitch and one simple crochet, making two chains and finally joining to the last chain stitch of the beginning chain. In this way, we will join the rest of the grannies respecting the pattern in the photo. Pay close attention because some grannies must be joined on two sides. So you should only crochet two sides and then start joining on side number three and continue along side number four.
With all the granny squares joined, it's time to attach the half sunflowers to the bandana. To do this, we add the white thread to one of the half sunflowers. We start by crocheting five single crochets from the center of the half sunflower. Then, in the chains, we crochet four single crochets and one chain. Now, we are going to attach the half sunflower to the granny squares by placing it at one of the vertices formed between two granny squares. Once we have joined the half sunflower with one slip stitch and one single crochet, we make two chains and crochet three double crochets in the same space. We then join to the granny square with one slip stitch and continue crocheting three single crochets in the next space. We join again with one slip stitch and crochet another three single crochets. Then we join with one slip stitch and make three more double crochets in the next space. Now we join with one slip stitch to the first granny square and with another slip stitch to the second granny square. We then crochet the last three double crochets to complete the corner. We continue the attachment with one slip stitch Crochet three single crochets. Join. Crochet another three single crochets. Join. Make the last three double crochets. We join with one slip stitch and crochet four single crochets in the chains towards the center of the half sunflower. We finish the attachment with the first single crochet by making one slip stitch.
will repeat this sequence when joining the remaining five sunflowers to complete the bandana and give it the triangular shape that characterizes it. Now, in the final stretch, it's time to crochet the border of the bandana around its perimeter. Now we will use a size 1 crochet hook. The border will be made as follows. Crochet one single crochet in each single crochet. But when reaching the chain stitched on the center of the sunflowers, we will insert the hook in the same space or watch yarn stitch, so that our border will be started and neither as the maize color the chains will not be visible. In the shines between the sunflower motif and a granny square and another sunflower motif, we will make four single crochet stitches, which we will then close together, and then continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch. Add the three corners of the bandana. In order to mark them clearly, we will crochet three single crochet stitches in the same stitch. Now it's time to make the ties for our bandana, which we will place at the ends of the bandana on the side where the sunflower motifs are joined. To do this, we will attach the white charm at the single crochet stitch of one of the two corners and crochet as many chains as we think are necessary. Remember that when tying one strip to another to hold the bandana on our head, you will need to make a loop, 
so it is recommended that the strips be long enough. Once we have the desired number of chains, we will crochet one slip stitch in each chain, working through both top loops to give the tie more firmness. Then we will attach it to the bandana with two continuous slip stitches. And finally, proceed to crochet the second tie on the other end. Now we have almost completed our beautiful sunflower bandana. We just need to needle weave in the ends so that they are not visible. And as a suggestion to improve its texture, I recommend blocking it. I invite you to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and watch the reel where I show how to block the sunflower bandana. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please leave me a comment about your experience. Thank you very much for valuing and appreciating my content. And I will continue to create with you in a new tutorial soon.